Hi everyone, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to Autodesk Webinars, 24 April 2019. So uh, I hope everyone can hear me and can see my slide right now. All right, first, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Fan Chua and I'll be the presenter for today's webinars. And today's I'll be accompanied by Yu Kua Cheng who will help me to answer some of your questions during our presentation today. All right, as usual, if you have any questions during our presentations, uh, you can type your questions in the question box and you don't have to wait until the end of this presentation. So either myself or Yukwa will uh, try our best to answer your questions. And if your questions require more discussions, you can always raise a support request with us. All right, so if you happen to miss uh, our previous webinar sessions, you can find the recording in the YouTube under Build Your Up and Ready Knowledge. Okay, and on today's webinar, we'll be covering uh, the topic of uh, best practice in upgrading the LM tools, and then as well as uh, network license cascading, especially for AutoCAD tool set and industry collections. All right, so, uh, so each topic we'll be explaining about first one will be uh, network license manager system requirements and we'll uh, touch a little bit on backup strategies and upgrading the workflow. And then at the end of that, I uh, will explain a little bit of common errors and troubleshooting steps. Okay, and followed by network license uh, cascading, we'll explain on what is license cascading is and what is the sequence order and how AutoCAD tool set and industry collections cascade, okay? And then at the end of that, then we'll explain on how we can uh, control the license cascading based on these two, which is AutoCAD tool set and industry collections. All right, so before we move into uh, backup and upgrading workflow, let's look at the system requirement for each platform. Let's start from Windows. Uh, so here are the list for the system requirement for Windows. But just take note, uh, Windows 7 and Server 2008 uh, R2 will be coming to end of Microsoft Extended Support by January 2020. So we encourage you, if you uh, want to use the later versions, that will be a better choice because uh, we want to avoid any compatibility or issues or any security issue in the future. All right. Uh, same goes for Mac. If you can choose a later versions of uh, operating system, it will be a better choice. Okay, and move on to Linux. These are for the Linux as well. Okay, and all of these informations can be found in our knowledge base uh, portal. So feel free to look at this uh, in our online page. All right, um, moving on into the next topic. In this webinar, we'll be only covering Windows LM tools workflow. All right, uh, most of the workflow will be similar in Mac and Linux, except the uninstallations process, uh, starting and stopping the server, since uh, Mac and Linux LM tool doesn't come with any user interface. So you might need uh, to input certain comments from the terminal Windows manually instead. All right. So we encourage you, if uh, you're doing this for the first time for the LM tool setup, please use Windows as your best platform uh, for an easier workflow because in Windows, LM tools uh, come with user in interface Windows and it will be less complicated for you to set up. All right, so before we can reinstall and upgrade your LM tools to the latest versions, it is always a best practice to back up uh, these three important files. First thing is, of course, your license file. Second one will be your log file. And lastly will be your option file, if you have any uh, specific configurations in your server before. All right, so once the, uh, the backup is done, we can start to upgrade the LM tools. First, uh, check of uh, what versions of LM tools you have currently, okay, by following this step provided in the screenshots. So you can just go to your LM tools, uh, clicks the help menu and you should be able to see the versions of your LM tools. Okay, so if you're not using 11.16, which is the current latest one for LM tools, you might have to upgrade this to the latest versions because uh, if you want to use uh, 
products that is under 2020 versions, you might need this. Okay, so after a version check, uh, you need to start your upgrading workflow. Make sure you have stopped the license server and just inform your users about the short downtime while you're doing this upgrade. All right, so once the server is stopped successfully, uh, you can start to uninstall the previous versions of Adam tools. So you can go to the control panel under program and features. You should be able to see these uh, options, Autodesk Network License Managers. Just uninstall that. So once it's done, you can download and install the latest LM2 versions from our Autodesk page. Okay, and the current latest version should be 11.16. Okay, so once you have installed, uh, launch the LM tools and just reconfigure the service. Okay, so you can input the new service name, uh, determine the path for uh, LMGRD, okay, the license file as well, and the debug log file as well. And uh, you need to take note as well, if you are planning to use 2020, make sure you upgrade your license file. You can either raise a support request for us or you can use a contract admin Autodesk in Autodesk account. So once that's done, uh, you can take start server and power up and use the services. All right, so once that's done, you can click save service and you can move on to the next workflow. So after configuration is done, uh, you can start the server. All right, restart the LM2 service again. To double check whether the server is up and running, you can perform a status inquiry on the LM2. So in this window uh, screenshot on the right, um, it will display all the information uh, to see whether is there any error, whether the server is uh, still down or is really up and running. All right, uh, next, we'll move into the common errors uh, some, and some troubleshooting steps that you can take uh, note for the future reference. Okay, the first common one would be error triple zero. So this Error normally appears either uh, because you're not using the latest versions of LM tools or your license uh, was not updated with the latest package information. So if you are uh, launching your Rapid 2020 or AutoCAD 2020 and you are seeing this error, most probably it will be caused by uh, outdated LM tools versions. All right. Uh, We'll move to the next common error, minus 15 error from the client sites when they are launching Autodesk software. Okay, so normally these um, errors will appear more frequently on the first time or new configuration setup. So if you are upgrading your LM tools on the same server uh, and same host machines, this issue shouldn't be appears uh, since you are under the same server configurations before. So if you happen to move to another server though, uh, while you're upgrading the LM tools, just need to make sure that this port 2080 and then 27,000 till 27,009 are open from the server side. So normally we encourage you from, uh, start from the firewall inbound rules first, right? You don't need to, uh, add it to outbound rules. Just start it with, um, firewall inbound rules and then just make sure that, uh, the machines, client and the server can, can actually communicate each other. All right, I think uh, that's a quick one for LM Tools upgrade. We'll move on to license cascading. Okay, so um, before we move into license cascading, let's understand what is license cascading uh, means actually. So license cascading is actually uh, the logic behind each Autodesk product, and it will determine the order of which product will be prioritized by LM Tools, or we call it network license managers in this case. All right, so here are the sequence of uh, the orders of our license cascading in hybrid scenario. So let's say in one license file, you have um, beside industry collections, you have uh, suites, you have four point product. So this will be the cascading orders. Okay, so just take note, AutoCAD with toolset, it has a similar cascading behavior with industry collections. And AutoCAD toolset with toolset will be taken first before industry collections. So it, sh it should be somewhere uh, here in the middle before industry collections for AutoCAD with toolset. 
All right, well, we'll be explaining on how AutoCAD with toolset and industry collections cascade through a few sample scenario. Okay, but before we move into that, uh, please take note, industry collection cascading is no longer work like a suite uh, previously. Okay, so let's start on explaining this few scenario. We'll guide you in the next few slides and how to overcome this cascading behavior for users. Okay, um, let's start with scenario one. So let's say uh, your users or your customer have uh, two AutoCAD mechanical and two AC collections license. So let's say if user A launches uh, Refit, so one AC collections will be assigned to these users. Okay. Uh, after that, let's say user A launches AutoCAD mechanical at the same time, and then AutoCAD mechanical will be assigned to this user A instead. All right, so uh, in this scenario, one AutoCAD mechanical and AC license will be taken. All right, uh, let's move on to scenario two. Same thing, but we'll change that um, point product AutoCAD mechanical to AutoCAD toolset. So if user A launches the graphic, AEC will be taken first. Okay, and when user A launches AutoCAD mechanical, so AutoCAD with toolset will be assigned to user A. All right, same thing. AutoCAD toolset will be taken once uh, license and AC collections one. So uh, we got a couple of questions on how we can we can actually uh, manage this uh, cascading under AutoCAD toolset and license cascade. Uh, sorry, industry collections. So here is uh, one of the steps. All right, so for a scenario one, you can specify which group of machines that will be using AutoCAD Mechanical as a point product and which group will be using Industry Collections product. All right, so uh, we'll split them into two groups. One is one mechanical group. Okay, another one will be AEC group. So once that's done, we can reserve each type of license according to their group. Okay, as you can see from this screenshot. So on top of that, you need to exclude them to take other products. So for example, in this case, uh, we reserve two AC license for AC group, and then we exclude them to take uh, AutoCAD mechanical product based on the cascading logic. So if I move on to the previous slide, so once you take industry collections, right? Uh, when you launch Rafi, it will take one industry collections, and when you launch AutoCAD mechanical, it will look back. And you need to exclude them to take this point products, which, which is in this case will be AutoCAD mechanical. All right, uh, we'll move to the second scenario. Uh, it's quite similar uh, to scenario one. So we'll split them on each respective group, as you can see from the screenshot, same thing. All right, and then um, we'll exclude them to so for AEC collections group, we'll need to exclude them to take this uh, AutoCAD toolset. Okay, same goes for AutoCAD toolset. We can exclude them to take AEC collections as well. So uh, do take note, we are using this a simple scenario to explain how the cascading work in AutoCAD with toolset and industry collections. So if customer or users happen to have more license in their license file, uh, they will need to adjust it accordingly in the options file. And if you need further help from us to take a look at this, uh, feel free to raise a support request. We can take a look at your requirements and we can advise you accordingly. All right, uh, I think that's all for today's webinars. If you have some persistent issue or some other questions that you have dealt with, uh, you can always go to our knowledge base articles uh, by navigating to this URL, knowledge.autodesk.com. So there will be tons of information that you can get from these portals and it can be ranged from a lot of things like download, install, activations or any license issues. And don't forget, if you can't find any answer from the article itself or it doesn't help you at all, uh, you can always uh, raise a support request with us or schedule a call with us and we'll be more than happy to assist you further. All right, uh, that's the end of our presentation today. It's a, quite a short one, and we can move to Q&A and A sessions around these two topics. If you have any questions, feel free to drop the questions.